On the beach or in the shade of a palm tree, your feet in the water or sat on a terrace. In the French West Indies, you travel with your taste buds. The best local produce on Guadeloupe is found on the stalls of the St. Francis Market. Colourful spices and tropical flowers, fruits and vegetables are all on offer from the aptly named Madame Excellent. There are some people who call this a passion fruit, others call it a love apple. These are known as Sydney bananas. In mainland France, they're called monkey sweets. Why is that? Because they're so small. Also for sale here, a collection of rums made with some of the region's most exotic ingredients. In this one, there's vanilla, nutmeg and some ginger. The ginger is to give you a kick, to spice you up. <laughs> the Basse-Terre Island is formed around the Soufrière volcano. It's the greenest and most humid part of Guadeloupe. Situated on the northern tip is the fishing village of Sainte Rose. On the harbour side, we meet local chef Clara. She knows this port inside out and is an expert on fish. This is a red line fish which began to populate the waters of the West Indies around 10 years ago, and it's very, very good. The fillets are excellent. This is a fish which isn't scaled, you skin it. This is called a coffer fish. At the bottom, you have two fillets and two more on the back, and there are no bones in it. 50 metres away from the port and just across the street, Clara shows us her family restaurant, which now bears her name. Well, here it is, the restaurant that my mother first began and that I've now taken over. On today's menu is one of Clara's signature dishes, her fish broth. Some snapper and some sun. The recipe is simple, but the flavours are accentuated with some tomato and a dash of spice called achiot, which gives it a nice orange colour. We only eat fresh fish here. When I want to have a fish broth, I always come here. The food is one big mix, the rum, the fish, it's all beautiful. Life's good in Guadeloupe. <laughs> Before some dessert, we take the ferry to Marie Galante, located around 60 kilometres away. One of the world's strongest white rums is made here, one with 59% alcohol. Yeah, this one is very strong. <laughs> it's got a kick? Yeah, it's definitely got a kick. It's very strong. Does it burn a bit? Yeah, it burns. I think you have to get used to it. You realise a few seconds afterwards that it really warms you up. Yeah, it warms your heart. I'm not having any more because I'm driving. Culture of sugarcane is ubiquitous on the island. Cane fields take up half of the farmland here. Some of the old mills that used to process the cane are still standing on the island. The harvest takes place annually between February and June and is still sometimes done by hand. We can cut four or five tonnes easily. Just you on your own? Yes, we work until we're tired. We'll rest, then we'll come back, we eat. It's our business, it's a sport. Established in 1860, this is the island's oldest plantation, where rum is still made the old-fashioned way. These antique machines grind the sugar cane, then the dry part, known as the bagasse, is separated from the juice. It takes 72 hours for the juice to ferment before it can then be distilled. To finish off our culinary journey, we're heading to Terre de Haute. Each day when the tourist boats dock, locals come and sell these small round cakes known as the torments of love. These sweet delights have become a symbol of the island. I've been selling here since 1976, for 39 years. Why are they called torments of love? It was for the husbands after a bad day's fishing. They had a little torment of love to comfort them. Hello, torments of love. They're a specialty of the island. Hidden away, but not too far from the port, Silette Apollinaire makes her torments of love in her kitchen, and the entire family comes together to help out. First they prepare the dough, then they add the jam, 
coconut, guava, banana or pineapple. The cakes are then baked for half an hour. The guava ones are a bit more uniform, while the coconut ones make these little bubbles in the oven. Silette's cakes are a huge success, but don't go knocking on her door for the recipe. I don't have a secret to tell. I won't say. It's just a jam, a good jam, that cooks really well at a low heat. It's our secret. It's the secret of Terre de Haut, that's all. We might not be leaving the island with Silette's secret recipe in our pockets, but we nevertheless depart these shores with the sweet taste of fruit, sugar and rum still lingering in our mouths.